you start working on a game, you need to have a very clear vision of how you want the player to feel. And game design's uh, objective is to create systems that allow the player to experience that vision. The first thing we would do would be to go through mythology and find a specific moment that is really interesting. And from that story, we would build the level. That is something that we wanted to put at the very basis of the experience. So we tried to build mechanics to reinforce the story of the level and make use of it. Uh, that could be puzzles, the player solves, or enemies we must defeat or avoid. One of the reasons we choose to, uh, to do this is that we want exploration to be rewarding. We want all those uh, exploration segments to feel like a living experience of the mythology. Uh, another driving factor of how we choose how each level is built is that we are trying to avoid um, having too much action. It sounds strange to, <laughs> to say it like that, but uh, we really wanted all the combat to be uh, focused on the boss themselves, the Jotuns. We try to, to get action in a different fashions. In level, it's more puzzle-based, exploration-based. There'll be some enemies, but they don't represent uh, a challenge by themselves. Once that idea is set, it's basically flat colors with text saying, here, something looks awesome. In the initial phase, when you only has drawing, it's very hard to get a feel of what the final experience is going to be. Since all our exploration is uh, mainly atmospheric, there's an awesome drawing there, there's an awesome animation here, there's a secret hidden there, there's this mythology uh, drawn in the level at this place, there's this awesome music that changed. Uh, he has none of this at the beginning, so it's, it really needs some projection to, to tell yourself, yes, walking this hallway is going to be awesome when all you have is two gray box. Up in testing the game and doing your alpha tests and beta tests, we realized that the god power were critical for, uh, for the boss fight. If you didn't have them, the boss were much, much harder. In an attempt to standardize the difficulty, we decided that it would be better if the god shrine was more uh, easily attainable. So it is more often in your, in your critical path in the level, and it is also shown um, on the map, both in the central area and the pause menu map. I also use the god shrines to build moments. So the player comes up to this statue and it's this amazing moment and you look at something huge and it's impressive. The apple, this one is meant to reward exploration. If you want the apples, you need to explore every nook and cranny uh, that you can find in the level that Jan designed. One of the things we worked on was the scale of the bosses. They needed to be huge. You needed that moment where you awaken the Jotun and then the camera zooms out and then you see that you're a tiny little mosquito next to this mountain because it's that moment that sums up the themes of the game. For each uh, Jotun, we, we start from, from an image, from a concept that uh, Joanny did, and uh, we brainstorm. What can this powerful being do to Tora? We try to elaborate three, four moves, and we prototype them. So Alex do some rough sketch of them. I do some, I implement the rough mechanics uh, behind those moves, and we test it. The main focus of, of those fights is we want the player to feel like it's an epic encounter, like it's a fight between David and Goliath.